Would anyone care to speak for the deceased? You saw what your father did at his own funeral. You're in danger. He told me that if I went near you ever, he would kill you. What is that? Flying monkeys. No, no, it's a bomb. That's a dangerous toy. Before this video starts, I want to say I'm going to Los Angeles next week on Wednesday, so if you see me around, I look like this, say hi, and also I just wanted to ask if you want videos whilst I'm away for that week, please be sure to leave your theories or your video suggestions in the comments below. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be talking about Episode 14 and about the new information that has been released on the Supergirl.tv website in their spoiler section. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So, big shout out to Supergirl. TV. They are an amazing fan site where you can find all the latest news and the spoilers. So that is what we're going to be talking about in this video. We're going to be talking about what they have found out about the episode. And so we're going to be going through the information. So check out their website and the links will be in the description below. So let's get on with it. So in the special notes for episode 14, which is obviously the wind centric episode with Wind's mum actually coming, played by the brilliant Laurie Metcalf from Ladybird, we are are getting a whole range of new characters that we haven't met before so one of those big characters which has been revealed via some people online is the character of Jacqueline Nimble and she's actually being played by Brooke Smith who some of you guys may know from Grey's Anatomy but me personally I know her from The Silence of the Lambs which is a fabulous film it is one of the best horror films out there you guys should definitely check it out and she plays the scared person who's actually captured by the serial killer in that film so check that out she's really good in the film she has a small part but she's really good so she is going to be playing the new toy maker as i've dubbed her myself because obviously in the trailer we saw her making a bomb of sorts well we're presuming she is and she does some really sinister dialogue and i think that goes hand in hand with what she's actually done in the past especially to do with silence of the land so i'm going to read out the notes here so the death of the original toy man shocks wind shots and his friends however that isn't the last prank he is looking to play at his funeral a bomb goes off where his casket becomes a true instrument of death Wynn's mother, played by Laurie Metcalf, arrives to comfort her son, finally after years of fear. She has been told that if she ever approached Wynn, he would be killed via the Toy Man. Whether the Toy Man is dead or not, killer toys are released on National City and only Supergirl can save them all. A successor to Toy Man is revealed to be Jacqueline Nimble, played by Brooke Smith. Wynn's mother's motivations are still in question, and while Jacqueline might be the target for Supergirl's might, the Toy Man's legacy remains to be expunged. So obviously we know a lot of this information, but they confirm that yes, this character played by Brooke Smith is actually going to be the successor of Toy Man. Like we got on the flash with Mark Hamill's trickster, we got a new trickster after that who was the successor. So I think they got inspiration from that, and I really do like the idea of bringing these new characters in who have really the same motivations but are different people. So obviously Wynn's mum seems kind of mysterious at this point. We don't really know anything about her. We've had mentions in the past, but from the trailer we know that she's been exiled really from Wynn the whole time due to the threat of his dad, the toy man, saying that he would kill Wynn if she got anywhere close. So the only reason why she's actually there is due to the fact that Wynn's dad has died and now she feels like she can go be with Wynn and so I also think the reason why she's there is because she has some information maybe due to the fact that they don't know who is sending these new toys after the toy man's death and I think she will play a part in actually getting to Jacqueline and so that's about it so this Wynn episode looks really really enticing and I'm really looking forward to it so tell me your thoughts in the comments below but anyway guys I'll see you guys later.